Good morning and welcome to Writer Greg on Twitch.tv. Glad that you could all make it. I'm uh, scrambling to try, still try to get everything set up here. Thank you so much for being here and bright and early on uh, a rocky Thursday morning. Thank you for being here and today is uh, the first day of October. So welcome officially to Preptober. This is the month where we get everything ready for our craziness that we call NaNoWriMo that begins November 1st. So it, the countdown is on and we are getting ready to go. So hoping that every... Hey, hello, Coffee Quills. Good, good, very good evening to you. I do hope that <laughs> you had a good day. Hey, Kettlepoy, welcome. I'm also streaming again, so I've muted Twitch, but wanted to say good morning. Well, thank you so much. I hope you hear this and hope that you continue to have a good stream. All right, I am, let's see, what am I working on? Okay, I'm getting up my review request queue, getting that put here and opening up Discord on the this computer, you know, so I can have that. All right, there's the live stream discussion. Looks like, all right, we got everything set up over there. And let us talk about the thought of the day. When I was thinking about Preptober and what I could share with you, I just, this thought from Stephen King uh, presented itself. Amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. And I, I do like that attitude and it is the attitude behind morning marches and the creative countdowns because what we do is we get up and go to work. We, we make sure that we are at the chair, at the keyboard, at pens at the ready, whatever instrument of creativity you may have that is where we are working so that when the inspiration strikes, we are already at it, ready to go. And I make sure that I am ready to be inspired every morning. And I'm glad for all of you who are here as well to partake in the, this activity because uh, we may not be professionals, meaning we may not be paid for our creative endeavors. Some are, some aren't, but that does not stop us from being uh, amateurs. Okay, let me try to say that again. Just because we're, we're not professionals doesn't mean we have to be amateurs. <laughs> well, good morning, Isaac. How are you doing? It's just so fun to, to go to bed and with you know, f some friends and wait, that sounds wrong. It's so nice to see people in the evening stream. Then I go to sleep and then boom, start up again. And you're all still here. <laughs> it's crazy. So I am excited to get going. Uh, do forgive me for my, uh, more dulcet tones than normal. Uh, little on the congested that side this morning. Gotta love the Rocky mountain air. All right, so with that, what is, oh, and you can find that quote in the memes motivation channel of the Orchard Discord server. And a link is available by pounding, uh, hitting exclamation point, D-I-S-C-O-R-D. Uh, there you go. So if you're interested in joining or having a copy of that meme, you can go find it at the Discord server. All right, with that, let's, uh, oh, I gotta put this away in my used folder. All right. All right, let's get this first sprint on the way. And there we go. 
All right, let's turn the music up. We'll turn the microphones off and I will see you in 10 minutes.
and there we go at the end of this at the end of the first sprint of the morning all right how did everybody do um, I have a very morose dog who is going to interrupt me a lot to, today I'm almost positive about that all right I am working on scene 50 of um, not that many left um, probably you know nine more scenes left not counting words just yet still writing down stream of consciousness notes hey buddy huh are you mad at me because I won't give you any food huh are you mad oh look at those puppy eyes yeah puppy puppy is not allowed to have food for one hour before or after his medicine so he's a little upset that he can't have his breakfast yet because uh he needs to wait before uh he can have it so the medicine can do its job so he's going to be barking a lot i guarantee that yeah, he's adorable. Yeah, I think he's going to go sulk now, which is fine. All right. All right. So I'm finally getting to the... It, you know, this is one embarrassing thing about this story. is I'm t It's scene 50, page... Let's see, what page? 110 of 131 and I'm finally getting to the actual plot of the story. So yeah, this is a, this, this was a lot of stuff uh, extra that is going to be interesting to chop it all up, chop it and uh, rearrange it and hopefully make a much better, a much better um, story. All right, let's see. Where am I? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep going here. Uh, see if I can find what the next plot point is. Hmm. With all these wonderful distractions. Okay. Found some spilt kibble. Can't be perfect, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Ugh. All right, so about a minute or less until our next sprint of the morning. And we will go with that. Dismiss that. All right, make sure you've saved your work. If you're ready to start counting words, go ahead and make note of that. All right, in 10 seconds, we will start again. Music up, microphone off. I'll see you in 10.
there we go. How was everybody in that sprint so far this morning? I'm doing a lot more reading than I am doing typing, that's for sure. Trying to make sure that... Uh, just, well, just trying to make sure. <laughs> I get all of the information. Hey! Welcome, welcome, Raiders! Siobhan and Party of Seven, thank you so much for the raid this morning. Welcome to Dinosaur Bob in the chat. Ah, stay true. Siobhan, Dazzle Cat. Let's see, uh, Sudan is studying post-grad maths chaos theory. I got a page of notes finished. Good job. Chaos theory, how fun. Unfortunately, the only chaos theory I know, I gleamed from Jeff Daniels, not, is it Jeff Daniels? No, Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. Uh, I actually read the book. I read the first two books, uh, Jurassic Park and Lost World. I actually read them in, in addition to the movies, and so it was a little bit more of an explanation, but still, you know, hard science fiction. Life will find a way. Yes, it will. <clears throat> Chaos theory is just a mess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, yeah, life is messy. Messier than I'd like it to be, but life is just messy. Ooh. Excuse me. All right, so we are, we have a couple more minutes before the beginning. And uh, of the next sprint at this top of the hour. It depends on how you look at it. Very true. I, I guess there's a proper framework that encapsulates the information into understandable things so that, that you can bring order to the randomness or randomize the order. I, I don't know. I, this is why I write fantasy. I can make it all up. Though I'm tempted to read The Martian. That is a... Uh, I haven't read The Martian. But the hard science fiction nature of it, I just think is... Uh, in, has, <clears throat> has been intriguing me of late. Never saw the movie, never read the book. But it's, uh, it's intriguing me for some reason. Well, Siobhan, I do hope your problem is going to be solvable. I'm sorry to hear that you have a problem. Or maybe it's one of those good, fun problems that you can have to, uh, that's fun to solve. Yeah, that's, that's my hope. <clears throat> All right, let's see. This is kind of dense stuff I'm going through. All right. Start that sprint. There it is. Music up. Microphone up, phone off. I will see you in 10.
And there we go, the end of the sprint and the end of the song at the same time. That's creepy when it does that. How did everybody do on that first sprint? I've <clears throat> I finished scene 50, delving into uh, scene 51. And <laughs> I have had a note. Says, this is boring, ba uh, boring backstory, so that's what I'm calling this scene as I go through it. And, mm, eh, it's okay. <laughs> 228 for words for Dazzle Cat. Good. <laughs> All right. 118 words for Isaac. Half a page for Zudin. Good. And Siobhan, 1,975 words for the day. Excellent. That's, oh, that's right. You said something about that before. Only 45, 49 words to your 1K mark. So your your word count problem is uh, you have a target of 100,000 words by October 31st, and I'm less than 5K from your goal. So that's kind of interesting. You're saying it's a problem where you're only 5,000 words from your goal, and you have a month to complete it? I'm not seeing the problem here. Sounds like you're going to accomplish... And surpass your goal in, with plenty of time to spare. But don't get lazy. Don't get lazy. <laughs> you gotta keep writing. A ah, hundred thousand words. That is a lot. Oh, okay. You're writing too much. Meaning you're spending too much time writing or you're overly verbose in your prose. There's some $10 words for you that rhyme. Verbose prose. Yeah, you don't want to run out of things to write for Nano. Ah, it's overly verbose. Yeah. Yeah, that can be a challenge. Well, you know, it, maybe it's better to be... Uh, to recognize that you are an overwriter that then needs to edit the stories down afterwards. That's a good thing to know about yourself. You have another two novels in this series? Good job. Good job indeed. Yep, that's what editing is for. Completely agree. All right, we have about under a minute before our next sprint begins. This is book one, and I'm sitting at nearly 153K. Is it epic fantasy? Because it's it's really a challenge to get... Okay, um, new authors... Uh, new, uh, new authors seeking representation and publication for epic fantasy, it, it can be a challenge to get a publisher to do 150,000 words. Hmm. Wow, that is a long book. All right, this is why books are better. 
Okay, let's go here. All right, there's the timer. We're gonna turn off the music, off with the microphone, and we'll see you in 10 minutes.
All right, there we go. <clears throat> How is everybody doing? Okay. Uh, just checking on the... Uh, if you want to report your word count or your accomplishments in the sprint. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you have an editor, but I think your editor is going to hate you. That's a fair, a fair thing. But is would since you know the head, the editor is going to hate the hundred fifty three thousand words. You think that's it's possible to, you know, chop it out yourself before you send it to them, so they know. So I mean, you know, they're going to want it shorter anyway. You know, is that something that you could pre-do? All right, Dazzlecat is doing research. That is cool. I'm not sure. The problem is that I'm not finished with the first novel yet. Well, that's fair. How many subplots do you have? I mean, because you have. A, I mean, when you think of main plot, subplot, number of characters, uh, things like that. You no. Know, <clears throat> are you Are you going to need to remove a sub an entire subplot? Yeah. Well, the cool thing about that is even if you take out the subplot, you could still reuse it as a novella from a, a, a side point of view of something that happened at the same time. And you could use that as promotional materials uh, to give out to advertise your, for your book. All right, Isaac, 240 words. I was in the middle of a paragraph when the sprint ended and just had to finish it. No problem there. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. Yeah. I heard Brandon Sanderson, uh, he said that when he plans out a, no a novel, he plans out a trilogy and an anthology of short stories. And that way, and all of that gets put into one book. And that's why it's so such a long book is his uh, novels are so long, epic in length, because he shoves three, what we would call normal novels. He shoves the plot of three, a trilogy of novels into one. And man, I remember listening to Elantris the first time, a uh, book on tape. And the problem with books on, well, not book on tape, but it was a, an MP3 download. And the problem with an MP3 download, as opposed to books on tape, books on CDs that, uh, because I am that old, is that you don't know how much is left. When you're reading a book, you can see how many pages. Oh, I'm about halfway through. Oh, I only have 10 you know, 10 pages left. You don't get that with an MP3 download of an audiobook. You have no idea how much is left. Okay, and oh, and your is a planned trilogy, but is each aspect of the trilogy gonna be 150K? That's, you know, that, that's gonna be cool. That is going to be literally epic. Likely. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's start another sprint. Second to last sprint of the morning. We'll turn the music up. We'll turn the microphones off. And see you in 10.
Sorry about that. Still muted. Thanks, Siobhan, for letting me know. <clears throat> hey, good job, Deslacat. Finishing the first Synergizia race article. Good job. 1576 words long. Well done. Only seven left to do. <laughs> It is quite the endeavor that we, we world builders and writers take upon ourselves. That's fun. Worked on a few names for stuff. Might have this ethnicity article done tonight. Cool. Your fey ethnicities are going to be quite the endeavor. Fair enough. All right. Still here. Let's see, we are fifty two. And Angelina is our point of view character. Does the cat <coughs> have a great shopping day? Thanks for joining for the sprints. We have one sprint left, so no worries if you bail out a little bit early. That's more than you're more than welcome to take on the day. Ah, uh, Siobhan, yeah, you, you've been around a long time in this, this print. I do appreciate that. Good, have a, a have a good sleep, Siobhan. Goodbye, Daz. the last alarm of the morning. Let's get this sprint on the road. And ready, click, set. All right, let's go. All right, music up, mic run off. I'll see you in 10.
All right, there we go. Uh, that is the end of the last sprint of the morning. How did everybody do? <clears throat> Just in the middle of uh, reading some of this, prepping it for analysis. I may just go over here to another half page. Pursuit in. Good job. Oh, I'm glad to be able to do it. Thank you for joining. Excuse me. Let's see. It looks it looks like we okay 142 words i think i finished the article so i spell check it <laughs> once you spell check it oh good that is good to know all right so thank you so much for joining this morning it's off to uh kid prep and work i go so thank you so much for coming by please be sure to uh follow like subscribe all that jazz thank you so much um oh and thank you for the contribution kit to the one million lemon challenge yeah we are down to less than two months left on that challenge to see if we can get all the way to one million lemons just take a look here where where are we at we are at 66.1 percent the way there excellent excellent all right oh and i bet we just bumped up at least the percent yep all right so thank you so much uh for coming we are going to you know i'm ha having some super deja vu uh looks like uh we have quite a few people who are on this morning and we have um coffee quills we have fried dice paradise who's on we have coffee quills we have dm stretch that are available so i think we did raid coffee quills last night so i'm going to go ahead and give dm stretch a raid uh, to try to spread the raid love around i do hope that everyone has a great day I will be here tonight, Thursday evening, for Creative Countdowns, and then I will be back tomorrow morning for more Morning Marches. So keep on working on that, so we will just keep doing that. Okay, this channel is intended for mature audiences. Yep, okay, no worries. Forewarned is forearmed. All right, so thank you so much. I will catch you all later and have a great day. Bye everyone. <laughs>